What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I went from a banquet manager, bartender, server, how I was able to quit my job and sell on Amazon full time. When I first came across Amazon FBA, it was a new learning uh, experience. You know, starting an online business, I had never even heard of an online business before. Making passive income, what was that? Um, I had no idea that over 50% of all the products sold on Amazon were from third party sellers, private labeling products, sellers just like you and I, taking advantage of Amazon's huge infrastructure, their warehouses and fulfillment centers to store our product, package our product, ship the product, um, sending it in directly to Amazon, letting them ship it to the customers, handle any return, handling payments, all of that. With over 85% of all households in America now have at least one Prime member, it's a perfect time to become an Amazon seller. But I know a lot of you out there may struggle with getting over the hurdle of starting this business. Just mentally, how do you get over the fact that starting an online business, you may be starting with $2,000 or $3,000 I know for me to save up that amount of money, the $2,600 I first started with starting Amazon, that saving that amount of money took me like six months. So I understand for those of you out there who are living paycheck to paycheck, saving up just $2,000 or $3,000 to invest into this business can be risky, it can be scary, you can have a lot of fear associated with it. Does this business model actually work? And can you replace your nine to five income and sell on Amazon full time? I wanna talk about each of those points in today's video and share with you guys how I got personally got over the hurdle of selling on Amazon full time and how I was able to quit my job after I launched my third product. Welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller and mentor, entrepreneur, investor. Right here on this channel, I release one to two new videos every single week covering everything Amazon FBA related, making money online, e-commerce, so if you enjoy that type of content, make sure to please go down right now and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, like the video and leave a comment and you'll be automatically entered to win a 30 minute coaching call with me. I give away two 30 minute calls every single video to two lucky winners. My job right here on this channel is to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible, showing you guys how I went from a struggling drug addict six years ago all the way to a full-time Amazon FBA seller and without any other delays, let's jump into today's video and give you guys a confidence and a mentality boost to get over self-esteem boost, to get over the hurdle of starting any new business, especially starting Amazon. Coming up. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. So uh, first, when I got started, or how did I learn about Amazon? I first learned about Amazon FBA right here on YouTube, actually. I was watching different videos on investing in Warren Buffett, and I came across this couple on YouTube. I believe the channel was called Project Life Mastery. It was this couple showing how they were flipping products and selling products on Amazon. Now, that especially piqued my interest because Amazon was this huge company um, that was not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. They continue to dominate, you know, buying Whole Foods, buying Pill Pack, buying Ring. They're expanding into pharmacies and they bought Whole Foods. So they're in all these different types of markets or categories. So I knew they weren't going anywhere. But what I did not know is that all, all the products sold on Amazon are not just Amazon, the company selling those products. Over 50% of all those products being sold, in fact, were from FBA sellers, FBA private label sellers, like you and I who find a product, find a manufacturer using Alibaba, the world's largest manufacturing website platform, and we ship the product into Amazon and let Amazon do all the heavy lifting, the product packaging, the storing of the product, the shipping and labeling, handling any returns and payments, customer service as well, and we pay Amazon a small FBA fee or FBA fees per uh, product that we sell, per unit. So that was number one, is just, figuring out how did this FBA business model work. And I looked at all of my different options out there. You are probably constantly, constantly bombarded with different ads on drop shipping, on social media marketing and starting an agency, coaching or maybe starting a coaching program or buying a coaching program. Courses, of course, buying courses on how to start selling on Amazon, Shopify, drop shipping, Amazon automation, I see all of these ads in my Facebook feed, my Instagram feed, my YouTube uh, videos. I'm sure you see these ads as well. You're constantly being bombarded with all this information. But what I need you to ask you to do is to focus on one business for the next one year, 
Focus all your time and effort onto building one business, pick one that you enjoy and know works, like Amazon FBA, dedicate the next one year, launch a few products, and you'll be well onto your way to being successful. One thing is shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome is where you're interested in one topic or business today and this week, and then next week you see something different that looks interesting, and then you start spending your time on that. That is one huge downfall, that as well as not paying attention to your profit margin and picking the wrong product, those three things account for probably 85% of the why uh, new sellers fail, new businesses fail, being Amazon, selling on Amazon. So I continue looking into this whole Amazon FBA process. I realized that you could find a product that was selling super well on Amazon using product research software like Helium 10 and Jungle Scout. We could look at the actual numbers with the Chrome extension. You can actually see how much those products are making per month in revenue, in sales, in estimated profit. And then looking on Alibaba, the world's largest manufacturing website, find the product there. If a product sells on Amazon for $20, you can buy the product for $3 on Alibaba. You pay Amazon an FBA fee and you're left with the profit, whatever is left over. The rule is usually a one third or the 33% rule. What this rule means is when you're selling on Amazon, let's say you sell a product for $20 to the customer. Usually one third is gonna to go to the cost of the product, shipping and packaging. One third is going to go to FBA fees and PPC advertising fees. And then one third will be left over as pure profit. So guys, there's so much uh, information out there and I want to explain why I think Amazon is the best business you can start. I know it, starting any business can be scary and getting over the hurdle of going all in with Amazon, you know, saving that amount of money is, uh, takes time and it's scary to invest into that first product knowing that you could possibly not get it back. But going into Q4, especially right now, guys, your risk is actually the lowest it's ever been. Because Q4 sales are so high, uh, most of my products sell four, five, six times as much in the month of December versus the rest of the month. So going into Q4, guys, if you're just starting Amazon, you're about to launch your product or trying to get over mentally the, the roadblock of should I invest my money into this, um, I'm going to tell you right now, e-commerce and Amazon and building brands online is just exploding. And I expect this Q4 to be a record breaker. So you're starting at a perfect time where your, your risk is gonna be low because the sales are huge during Q4, not to mention the new at-home economy, everyone ordering products and gifts right from the comfort of their home. It's the perfect time for you, an opportunity for you to get in to start making what's called passive income. Passive income essentially means you're not trading your time for money anymore. That's what Amazon allows you to do. You can make money while you sleep versus having to go to a job and exchanging your time for money. With Amazon FBA, yes, it does take a lot of, a lot of work up front, a few weeks of dedication and hours spent per day doing product research, but the payoff in the end is awesome. What happens is you put in the work up front, you get the product to Amazon, you start selling, then the business starts to kind of run on autopilot. You only have to check in on it maybe once or twice a week to manage your launch and PPC campaigns and then to manage inventory. And then eventually once you're profitable and you get your business to a certain level, you can hire virtual assistants overseas to help you manage the day-to-day -day operations like monitoring reviews, customer service, uh, reordering, inventory control, all of those types of things can be outsourced to uh, professional VAs who will help you run your business. So I saw all these people on YouTube making tons of money selling on Amazon. I heard the word passive income for the first time. I wasn't interested, I, for a minute, I was interested in Shopify dropshipping. The problem with Shopify dropshipping where we're just dropshipping um, products from China is you have to set up your own website, but nobody knows about the website. You have to you know, send and spend a ton of money to get traffic or customers spend a lot on ads to even get anyone to know about your website. So there's a learning curve there. There's a learning curve with any business. Why not take advantage of the fact that 85% of US households have an Amazon Prime membership. Amazon is just growing. It keeps growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Sales are going up. 
Yes, the number of sellers is also going up as people discover selling on Amazon, Amazon FBA private label. But as long as you pick the right product, you offer a high quality product, you differentiate, you set yourself apart in the marketplace, you offer a premium product that solves the customer's problem or solves a problem in their life, you brand the product well. Once you get a couple products like that launched, don't think that you need to make $10,000 your first month. Realistically, more realistically, what happens is we launch a couple products, each product making between $1,500 and $5,000 a month in profit. Dedicate the next six months to one year. After my third product, I was only making $2,500 per month as a banquet manager, server, bartender. So that was my goal, to make roughly $3,000, $2,500, uh, per month in profit to be able to leave my nine to five. I had just launched my third product and I achieved that. I was able to quit and I was so happy to be able to quit and leave my job and sell on Amazon full time. I've gone on to launch eight successful FBA products and register two brands on Amazon. And I can tell you also, try to focus on one or two niches versus trying to launch products all over the place. I made the mistake in the beginning of starting off in baby category, then home and kitchen, then patio, then tools and home improvement. Now the, the best sellers and the products that make me the most money on Amazon are my tools and home improvement brand and my home and kitchen brand. So super important to understand that building a brand and solving problems is ultimately, and choosing the right product, is ultimately what leads to the most success that sellers see selling on Amazon. Okay, I also want to enter a little clip here. This is from a, another uh, someone on YouTube called Sunny. She posted this video kind of making the point about uh, people, how we have value regardless of what happens to us going forward or what happened to us in our past. She used the analogy of a $100 bill. She was in the park with a $100 bill. She stepped on it. She crinkled it up. She ripped it. This is what happens to us as people and individuals throughout our life. But the $100 bill still holds value regardless of what happens to it. I thought this was such a cool analogy and I want to enter the clip right here so you can see what happened next. She went into a coffee shop and offered the uh, barista or the person making the coffee at the shop uh, the $100 bill. And I want to show that right now, right here. Packed is infinite. You know, I wanted to give you that. Huh? Wanted to give you that. Huh? That's yours. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, serious, take it, it's yours. <laughs> there you go, that's for everyone. Thank you guys. <laughs> So as you can see guys, she offered that $100 bill as a tip and the thing that he said was, okay, I uh, really appreciate it. I have to share it with everyone else. And this struck a chord with me because back when I was a server bartender uh, and worked as a banquet manager, if a customer handed me a $100 bill for providing excellent customer service during a winemaker's dinner or a fancy um, wedding and they handed me a $100 tip, it gets, it gets pooled the number one thing you want to do is put it in your pocket, right? Because you worked hard, you took care of your customer, and they handed you a $100 tip. But in, in most uh, industries, especially the food and beverage restaurant and bar industry, you have to split that up. That $100 bill gets split between all of the people working there. So you end up maybe with $20 or $15 or even $10 sometimes or less of that $100. This struck a chord with me and made me think why I fell in love so much with Amazon. With Amazon and owning your own business, you control your destiny. If something is not working in our Amazon business, we're not making enough sales, the product's not selling, more competitors enter the market, there's things and actions we can take to fix it. We can have better photos, redo photos, check that the listing is well optimized, ensure that our PPC campaigns are converting and not spending too many dollars. So you're in the driver's seat and you're in control. This is not the case when you work for someone else and you trade time for money. So this is this just struck a chord with me and I wanted to just bring up that analogy is no matter what's happened to you in the past, what does happen to you in the future, regardless of where you're at right now, without a job, with a job you hate, coworkers you hate, a boss you hate, having to share tips with everyone when you think you deserve it and you do, Amazon and being an entrepreneur, starting an Amazon business, puts you in the driver's seat and you're in control of your own destiny. If something's not working, we're able to fix it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Just giving you a breakdown of how to get over mentally, your, boost your self-esteem, get over the hurdle of starting a new business. I know it can be challenging. 
You're welcome to reach out to me on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, in my Facebook group, the, Adi the Amazon FBA Gladiators group. Reach out to me in there or leave me a comment down below in this video. What are you currently struggling, struggling with or what's holding you back? Drop those comments down below and I'll be happy to personally respond to as many as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tons more great content coming your way right here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.